Hey, what's up, guys? We're back with another video, and this video is very unexpected. Like, a very unexpected video that I didn't even think I was going to do. So, I never actually did Labyrinth. I did, like, the first path when it first came out okay, with Star-Lord. I was, nah. And then after that, I was like, you know what? I don't really want to fully explore it. The rewards are eh for too much work, and it's too hard. But then recently, I got Aegon. I'm like, he's, like, the king of Labyrinth, right? Like, he can deal with every single fight, one-shot it. And I went in this morning against Star-Lord just for a little bit of fun. And I was like... You know, let's see how far I can make do Labyrinth. And I went through a lot of fights without dying. And then I realized, eh, you know, let's revive. Let's just see. Can I, can I do this? I, I spent like one revive to see how far I can make it. I'm like, let's see if it's actually doable or not. Because I only had like 500 units at the time. But I was like, hey, you might be able to do it if I play really well. Turns out, I played really well. But. Uh, one thing I learned is, they already seen this fight, is Aegon against Maestro, which I had no idea. It doesn't, like, activate any of these things unless you attack through a block. So what you're going to see here is my first death, and I did not expect this. I expected the stun to be there like it normally is, and it wasn't, and I got wrecked. So then I'm like, you know what, okay, he doesn't have any abilities. This fight kind of did suck a little bit without any of the abilities, but then I um, got to a high combo, and I started recording, like, mid-fight, like, at the end here, because I'm like, you know what, I don't have to record the whole fight, because this fight was long. So I'm at my 350, like, um, whatever combo and get him low i pushed this guy to a special too mostly because special one's annoying but yeah this is my path two i took on this one it was i was very hyped i did this in very few units so yeah i'm just going to show you some of the like stats and some of the fights i did now so this is the team i used i used deadpool x force and nick fury for the heal synergy and then star lord um for the um what's it called combo shield thing so like if you get hit you have a combo shield which wasn't really needed that much in the end and then sentry for every time i parry it's a guaranteed next hit is a crit which was really only needed in the beginning to like build them up and get off the suicide masteries but towards like the first later fights it wasn't that effective so i'm probably not going to bring them next time i don't know who i'm going to replace them with so and i'm going to show you the map now so if we look at the map here i took path two which was i took star lord then went down to jane foster then did abomination went all the way up through all these fights Took down the guillotine, went Falcon, Gomorrah. I, um, and as you can see on it, it says, like, Path 1, which, like, I made this talk a long time ago, but I forgot about it. Star-Lord. Took me 3,300 units and, like, 40, and or 86 revives for Path 1, which is Path 2 was 8 revives, or 310 units. It was crazy. I think the only, I'll, if I'm trying to remember, I think I revived once on Cyclops, go up to the guillotine, once on Falcon, did I have Falcon? No, yeah, once on Falcon, went down, um, it did the Venom Pool, I don't think I died in that fight, Doctor Strange, I died like, so what am I at now, I'm at like two, Doctor Strange I think was like three deaths, or three revives, no, I think I did once on Venom Pool, so that's three, went down to Doctor Strange, revived twice, so that's five, and then I did the Kamal Khan, and rock raccoon fight and then i got to maestro and took three revives the first revive was that death you saw second was like a really sad try and then the third death uh wait no second and third were both really sad tries and then the fourth try so my eighth revive or third try i can't remember one of the third or fourth i, I um got up to maestro and i got that like 400 hit combo you saw in the end in the beginning of the video and i beat him so yeah, the, the amount, like, the difference is so crazy, it's funny. Like, I spent 10 times, almost 10 times as many revives and units as la and the Path 1 of Star-Lord. 3,300, and then Path 2 with Aegon, the king of the Labyrinth, only 320. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, also, I'm going to be showing my stats for Path 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and, like, showing what's hard or whatever. Um, in the next videos, when I, if I actually, like, when I get to it, because I need to build up just a few more units for a fight, like Juggernaut and a few other fights, because I don't know how they're going to go. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, get a like, comment, subscribe, and, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.